Hey Pete here for Studio Live today and welcome to my brand new series GarageBand Quick Jams where in just two minutes I'm going to tell you all about a feature here in GarageBand on the iPhone and iPad. Let's go. we're going to be looking at the keyboard touch instrument. So if I hit create document and I tap on this big keyboard icon, I'm here in my keyboard. And I can play some notes. The top left here, we can take the octave down. Or we can take the octave up. The sustain option here, when we tap a key, it's quite staccato. If we turn the sustain on, we have that nice sustain sound. The glissando here means that if we slide our finger up and down the keyboard, we get that sort of effect. If we turn that onto scroll, now we can scroll up and down the keyboard by touching and dragging with our finger. Let's turn it back to glissando. The next option here is our scales. At the moment it's off, which means we have the white and the black notes. We can select major, minor, or any other scale here. Let's tap major, and now, I don't need to know the notes. The black notes, the white notes, they're all gone. It plays the major scale regardless of what I hit because they're all right there. The next option here, let's turn that off, is our arpeggiator. What is the arpeggiator? The arpeggiator is super cool. You can see here we have some note information and we can select those. I'll let you play around with those. But if we hold down a couple of notes here, we get a cool arpeggiated sound. And if we play with those options, we get different sounds as well. Very cool option. Let's turn that one off now and go to the last option here, which is our chord strips. And these at the top here are our chords and at the bottom are our bass notes. So if I don't know how to play a G chord, I just tap somewhere in G and I get a very cool G chord. That is it. That is the basics of our keyboard touch instrument here in GarageBand iOS. And that is it for this very first GarageBand Quick Jam. If you have comments, ideas, and suggestions for future episodes, please leave your comments below, and I will see you next time.